Please be seated. Good evening, I'm Hal Higdon, Chancellor of Ozark Central Community College. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 High School Equivalency Graduation Ceremony of Ozark's Technical Community College. To all the families and friends here tonight, thank you for helping us celebrate this important event in the lives of our graduates. We are all so proud to recognize the success of our students. We are honored for you to be here today. Joining me on stage this evening is our featured speaker, Mrs. Linda Whipple. We will be introduced more completely in a few minutes. In addition, I'm pleased to welcome several honored guests tonight's ceremony. Join us as representatives of the OTC Board of Trustees is uh, Ms. Jennifer Keneally and Ms. Paula Adams sitting right here. Joining me on stage is Mr. Paul Sunday. Vice Chair of our board and an OTC alum. These individuals give a great deal. Let's give Mr. Sunday a. He will tell you that if your next step is not to OTC, you're making a mistake because that's where he came and he's, I think he's glad he did. So these individuals give a great deal of time and effort and talent to the college and I'm grateful for their presence. Also with us tonight are key administrators of Ozarks Technical Community College. Our provost, Dr. Tracy McGrady. <laughs> Dr. Matt Hudson, Executive Dean for Career, Technical, and Community Development. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, with us tonight are the instructors and the staff of the Adult Education and Literacy Program at OTC. These individuals have been absolutely critical to the education success of our students and graduates. Please join me in recognizing this group of amazing educators. Again, welcome to this evening's ceremony and thank you for coming. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium Vice Chairman of the Oats Arts Technical Community College Board of Trustees, Mr. Paul Sunday. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, what a great day. I mean, this is feeling a little bit like normal. I, uh, my wife and I just bought tickets to the Machine Gun Kelly concert in Benville, Arkansas. So in September, no mask, and we'll be celebrating, hopefully, the concert. And this is definitely the first step of that. So graduates, you won. Parents, you won. Grandparents, you won. And if you're a friend of the graduate, well, today you won, too, because you're a friend of a graduate. Um, so, not a man of many words, but I, I will tell you, don't let anybody ever tell you you can't, because today you did. So on behalf of all the trustees, congratulations, and I cannot wait to celebrate your future success. Cheers. Well, good evening. My name is Matt Hudson, and I have the privilege, if I can find my notes, to actually introduce your honored speaker for tonight. Mrs. Linda Whipple, who most of you know, and in case you don't, I want you to give me a chance to share a little bit of her story. For 32 years, Linda Whipple has been an educator, and most of that time has been spent in her favorite area of study, adult education. In fact, she has multiple teaching certifications, including elementary and secondary education, adult education, a master's degree in teaching English as a foreign language. And Ramona George, who most of you know, when she decided to retire last year, because COVID, I guess, kind of pushed her, pushed her to the edge, Linda was already on the scene at OTC as an adult ed teacher. And as the person who works with that department, what better time to ask someone to take over a program and become the new director than when you're in the middle of a global pandemic. So Linda happily accepted the job. Seems like a great time to start. But nevertheless, Linda accepted the post in our offer. She started last summer on July 1st as college director of adult education and literacy. And in the nine months since, she has already used her skills and talents and her experience to take an already outstanding program and make it better. She is still helping us and all of you and has helped all of you move on and move forward. For that, we are grateful. She, of course, enjoys life outside of OTC with her husband, Martin, who's also here tonight. 
has three grown children and gets to have fun with her three grandchildren. I want to say congratulations to graduates as well. I, I just, you have reached the accomplishment that, that is life changing for you and for that you have my congratulations. Please help me in welcome to the podium Miss Linda Whipple so she may give you some encouraging words in your next steps in the future. Thank you, Dr. Hudson. I also want to thank all of the AEL staff, the Galois Theater staff, all you students, family, friends, and special guests here on stage with me for your patience and understanding as we prepared for this ceremony. It was not an easy task, but it all came together because of the teamwork of everybody here involved. So I do want to say thank you. This ceremony is always important but especially this year. We all, myself included, must especially remember to sometimes just stop, stop all the hustle and the bustle, and occasionally just celebrate the accomplishments that we've already achieved. Busyness and struggles will never end, that's what we call life, but we must take time to occasionally stop and celebrate this life also. It's not a selfish thing that we do, it actually keeps us human. And it's a time like this that helps us remember how to appreciate the blessings that we have been given. Graduates, I am very honored and humbled to be able to be the speaker for you tonight. As Dr. Hudson earlier mentioned, I have spent most of my career in the field of adult education because I love it. I can't imagine a more rewarding, more rewarding job for me than to be able to serve and honor my, some of my biggest heroes in life. And that's all of you guys out there in your caps and gowns. Through the years, I've heard many adult education students say negative words about themselves because for whatever reason, they did not finish their education earlier. If you're one of those sitting out there or one of those watching by live stream right now, I want you to stop thinking that's not how other people see you. Not being able to finish your education earlier was just one of your fights and one of your struggles in this life. We all have struggles and battles at some point. That was just one of yours. Tonight, you're wearing a cap. Not a superhero cape, but a cap. But you're still my hero. A hero, by definition, dictionary definition, not just Miss Linda's, is a person noted for courageous acts, nobility of character, a person opinion of others has special achievements, abilities, or personal qualities, and is regarded as a role model. That's you. You're a hero. You're a hero wearing a cap instead of a cape. I do have three grandchildren. And I watch two of the youngest ones all the time play superheroes out in the backyard. They battle the struggles that come up against them and pretend, out in their pretend world, and they always win because they're superheroes. That's what superheroes do. They're courageous, they're noble of character, and they use their achievements and their abilities to be role models to others. I am fortunate in my life and in my career to have encountered several heroes. I don't have time to tell you about all of them, but let me tell you about one and her superpowers. This lady was very similar to many of you. She had to stop her education earlier than expected. She was a single mother of three young children. She worked full time as a waiter in a restaurant and attended AEL classes in the evening. Daily, she had to make some very tough decisions. But what she knew through every decision she made is that she wanted to be able to provide for her children. She was courageous through this struggle. Her noble character pushed her to, to use her abilities to finally pass the GED test and then to attend a community college and eventually achieve her credentials as a registered nurse. 
Her three children grew up to understand the importance of education and the importance of perseverance. This woman is a role model in my life. I strive to be like her daily. She is my hero. She is also my mother. My mother has qualities, character qualities, very much like all of you out there in the superhero caps. This milestone in your life was not easy either. It wasn't an easy decision to begin this battle, and it was a fight in which you used your perseverance and your personal qualities to achieve victory. You are a role model to others. You deserve to celebrate today. But as a role model, you also have an obligation to continue to show others what you already know about being a hero. I'm going to show you some visuals, because I'm a teacher and that's what teachers do, but I'm going to show you some visuals to help you remember what you know about being a superhero. First, I have a big chocolate kiss. This chocolate kiss needs to remind you that a hero loves others. But acts of love are not always easy. They often require sacrifices. Next, I have a Tootsie Roll. This Tootsie Roll needs to remind you that heroes face some decisions, tough decisions, in a constant battle. Perseverance to chew one bite at a time is of utmost importance. Then I have some Smarties. These Smarties are to remind you that heroes are smart, even on those days when you don't feel so smart. Then I have a Snickers bar. The Snickers bar is to remind you that heroes can laugh and snicker at themselves sometimes. Heroes know that there are times to laugh, times to have fun, and times to celebrate. This candle is to remind you that heroes brighten the days of others around them. It's always encouraging to be in the presence of a hero. I have actually brought each of you graduates a little sample of all of these reminders. I put all of these in a bag that looks like this. I put all of these in a bag for you to remember to keep it together and be reminded that heroes don't fall apart when life gets tough. They're strong because you're heroes. I would like to say congratulations to all of you sitting out there in your superhero caps. You truly are my heroes. Looking for my notes. Which I don't see, actually. I think they're here. Oh, there they are. All right. In 2020 and 2021, Ozarks Technical Community College had over 200 students in our adult education and literacy program successfully complete all five parts of the high school equivalency exam. Those five parts include exams over reading, writing, mathematics, science, and social science. With those graduates present tonight, please stand and make your way to the stage to be recognized and receive your certificates.
just getting here. Emily Hunter. <laughs> Samantha Mooney. <laughs> Kyla Collins. <laughs> Michael Gustafson. <laughs> Brian Reve. <laughs> Philip Green. <laughs> Hayden Lacombe. Novella Yellowhand. <laughs> Teresa McMillan. <laughs> Serenity Humphrey. <laughs> Sierra Leeper. Emily White. Jasmine Yaw. April Bollinger. Lake Cunningham. Gavin Whitaker. Yeah! Yeah! Susanna Dudley. Yeah! Andrea Cimenti. Yeah! Sinya Doyle. Brian Wagner. Robert Mormon. Sierra Mayhew. Sabrina Plummer. Natasha Kehoe. <laughs> Fiona Grapes. <laughs> Stormy Spickard. <laughs> Kyle Polly. Cordell Renard. <laughs> Ma
Maria Morales. Johnny Godfrey. Caitlin Potter. Chelsea Schrader. Haley Henry. Michael Heslip. Leslie Lowry. Christy Bowman. Allie Pratt. Sarah Higley. Christian Fiedler. Malia Cabrero. Cabello. Andrew McGeehy. Valerie Thompson. Genesis Spangler. Congratulations, graduate. I, graduates. I want all of you to take some time to celebrate your accomplishments today, but tomorrow I encourage you to start making plans to continue your education. To help you get started on your path to a college degree, OTC offers each of you a high school equivalency transition scholarship for a th free three credit hour college course. A certificate for this transcript this transition scholarship is included with the diploma you received this evening. Please take advantage of it, and I hope to see each of you next semester. And let me just emphasize, this is your first three hours, which uh, tuition runs about $117 an hour. That's about a $400 free class. And if you don't take advantage of it, you'll regret it later, so please do. Graduates, please stand and move your tassel from the right to the left to signify this great accomplishment and the beginning of a new chapter in your life. Because the recessional is an important part of the ceremony honoring our graduates, I ask the audience to please remain in place until the graduates have ex exited. Then the audience will be dismissed by rows. Thank you for coming, and now please stand to honor our graduates. Again, congratulations, graduates. <laughs>